So we will show evidence here. Let's look for one nice basal song for the basal people. Then we can start because we don't want any kind of funny, funny thing. We don't want nothing to disturb the Baza people today. Because you know, we said it before, and people overlooked us, and they thought we were playing around, fooling around. Now they're beginning to get to the truth, and some of them calling us and saying, wow, we didn't know. But now you know, I will play one of the prominent Baza men's songs before I get into what I'm supposed to get into. Brace yourself. Okay? Brace yourself. Just take one minute. We just won't get a real thing up. <laughs> versus fiction inside Liberian politics. You know, folks, it's one thing to dedicate your life. I, I'm not talking about because those of us that went to school to study political science, uh, my first degree was an associate, my second a bachelor's honors. I'm even thinking about going to do something again. And what I want to say to you is this. When you go to school and sit in the classroom, it's different from when you usa and just talking. Because what you know from the classroom is applicable. But they will tell us about local politics, community politics, church politics, national politics, world politics or international politics. The course I did at East Tennessee State University is world politics, but it's the same as international politics. Okay, the different kinds of politics. But again, when you go to school and you learn, you know what you know, you have to apply it. You have to exhibit that you know. Okay, you have to exhibit that you know what you know. And that's what I try to do all the time. Ben Ma, how you doing? Brother, welcome. Okay, every time I tell you guys something, it comes to pass. When I look at the Liberty Party stuff, you can go back to my videos from Kumis. I will explain and then I will predict what will happen and it does happen. Everybody listen, anybody listen to Charlene Bromskin today? I'll play it for you to hear it. Okay? Charlene said to the effect that I didn't say somebody was wrong for suspending the political leader meaning she know there was a problem there. I didn't say somebody was wrong for nullifying the convention. She knew there was a problem there. I didn't say somebody was wrong 
for endorsing another CPP candidate in the middle of a crisis. Meaning she knew there was a problem there. She called for reconciliation. But in her speech today, what I predicted was going to happen and was going to haunt Billete came back to bite Billete in the butt. I'm not saying Billete is losing. What I'm doing is lecturing you on the uniqueness of our politics, like I have done for Prince Johnson and others. This woman started her speech strictly. From the founding of the Liberty Party by her father, and she named specific individuals, half of them coming from Grand Basel. That's how she started. And when everybody thought she was going to go left, all right, this woman stood in the middle, called for reconciliation, and proffered an arrangement. But something dramatic happened. Something dramatic happened. Don't say if I want to tell you. Because I said it. I said if Billete thinks he can take the Basel People Party and carry it to Nimba, where he and Harrison can't wait for Nimba, he and Martin Kole for Nimba, Martin Se Kole, he and Ida Gongro for Nimba, and the other one he said for Nimba. I said, that's a big mistake. The battle people will not let that happen. Yeah, Chris, man, can tear that? Chris said, yes, he remember. I told you. So when Charlene started speaking today, she started straight to lay it. Her first line in her sentence was the founding of the party and where the party came from. How it emerged from her late father, and she made it clear, I'm quoting her, a son of Grand Baza County. And I told you, Pelete had made a mistake. But y'all were taking it for the day. At the end of Charlene's speech, Charlene paused. She talked to the people of the Liberty Party. But she stopped and she said to the people of Grand Baza. I won't talk you. I will wait you hear it from her own mouth. Then I will begin to give you the political analysis of what we're laying with the CPP and every other thing. And I'll give you a prediction again today. Copy. Play like Grand Boy here with a um say, I don't want me and nobody get talk. Me, I said nobody it want me in Liberian politics. I mean it. 2144. Bring it back small. Just a, just a tag. Forte is enough. Okay. I now want to speak oh God, to the liberty. Hold it. Hold it. Hold of the party and the nation. I ask you to find it in your heart to come in the middle and lead from there. I now want to speak to the Liberty Partisans. Hey, yeah, yeah. Just she, listen. She won't cry. She calling back the tears. I beseech you to hold your head high. Oh, Do wish, not be ashamed. I wish I was we are to not kiss dead. Her. We are in birthing pains. We are going through labor. Liberty Party will surely produce a unified leadership that will plow forward towards a better Liberia. We see you, we hear your cries, we feel your pain. Remember what is at stake. Your blood, sweat, and tears are at stake. Do not allow competing interests to blind you. Demand a united and reconciled party. To the people of Grand Bassa County, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. the land of my father, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. the people who still grieve and mourn the passing of their greatest leader. Hey, yeah, yeah. I promise you that we will not let you down. Hey, yeah, yeah. I remain true to the principles and the legacy of Councillor Bromskin. This party will not die. We will hold up the party. We will keep the party alive. 
Councilor Brumskin's dream will come to pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask you to just read this in Basel for the people. Hey, y'all, yeah, yeah, they can be read it in Basel. I have one, y'all. The people Basel are saying the end. Basel, Abba, Brumskin, Bills, and Bia, the one you're saying the end. Mitchell, you're being so good, you're a good boy. Il est brosqué même moins à mauvais et qui est sur moi. À moi, avec le bouton, il y avait ça, il y a un bouton qui est à moi, à mon numéro, brosqué, à mon bouton, 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 to think and reflect on their actions. What did I tell you people? MDR is to Nimba County. That is you and Mano People Party, whether you like it or not. Ako, that is Mandingo and Muslim People Party, predominantly, I'm not saying, when they say Ako, that's so Mandingo people, no. The vast majority of the people in that party are Madingos and Muslims. You go to MDR, the vast majority in that party, like Gio and Manu. You go to LPDP, the vast majority in that party, like Kola and Fire People. You go to MPP, that the better people bang out at the pace. And you come to CDC, that everybody party, including myself. But the cool people <laughs> or the quiet speaking people that are in our area. Okay? And I said Musa Belete made a serious mistake. You take the party and carry it to Nima for a convention. You act like the Basa people don't matter. That two letters you carry to Nima. You didn't care about the party. You carry LP. And I was straight to the point. You carry LP. Go carry the party and give it to Nima. Come by the pool, I got a party, you put over them. Is it not what I told you all? This woman gave her speech, the daughter of the political leader. She started with Paso. She know it's a political party for all adherents. She know. But she stopped and addressed the Paso people Strictly. Then she paused and said, I'm going to put it in Paso. You know what that means? It's a clear message that this party is deeply rooted. The narrow string of this party is buried in Grand Paso. Don't check our party all around the place. It was a message. It was the message. And this is where I said Pilate dropped the ball. She looked at Nyombi in her speech. Did I say somebody was wrong for nullifying a whole convention? I didn't say so. In a sense, it's damn wrong. She was finished with Nyombi. Did I say somebody was wrong for endorsing an NPP, uh, a CPP candidate in the middle of a crisis, in a sense, she was saying, Billete, it's damn wrong. Did I say somebody was wrong for suspending the political leader for paying dues? In a sense, she was saying, it's damn wrong. Okay. So, nobody talks about a seven man elderly committee to look into the crisis. Two from the chairman and the executive committee. See her wisdom. Meaning she wants the ability. Two from the political leader and her side. 
Political leader will appoint two. The chairman will appoint two or four. The other three will be neutral. They're looking to appoint me so I can set the record straight as one of the neutral persons. You know, three neutral persons to handle the crisis. But how far is the crisis? How far? I think Charlene did well. But I'm sorry to say to Charlene, the train leaves at 7 a.m. in the morning. Chosa Numa, you know the train leaves at 7. Hamilton, Miata Salif, Sabina Harris, Imanta Flomo, Chine Colley, y'all know that the train can leave at 7 in the morning. And Charlene came to the train station. Then she said, oh, it was four minutes to seven. And she said, oh, I left my nega in a room. She went back to go get a nega. The elevator delayed. When she got there, she had to collect the, the key to her hotel room. When she collected it and got to the elevator, it delayed. When she got to the door, she put her key in. It couldn't work. They had to call back downstairs. By the time she got key, opened the door, grabbed her nigga to come back to the train station, the train was gone. That's what happened to Charlene. Charlene said, I was working behind the scene. I was not silent. Charlene, the train left you. It doesn't mean that you won't find another train. No. There's another Liberty Party train. But this train that you're looking for committee on, the train gone. Why? Because this train divided itself. One openly endorsed Waka, the other openly endorsed Kumis. If you bring the party back together, how is it that the party will endorse one person now? And the two people that are supposed to hold together have decided that they will go separate ways. And both of them are occupying positions that only a special convention can take them away from in order to provide the space for neutrality and a decision for the party. The tree gone. But let us say if for Kumis and his, you hear me, and I'm saying it, his Liberty Party is for Kumis. Lombly and Dillon say their Liberty Party is for Boakai. Kumis says he welcomes the Liberty Party endorsement for him. Chester Parker today said the real Liberty Party along with the ARP and others will move the country forward. Where is the false Liberty Party? Where is the false Liberty Party? Now, the way forward, I believe, is not for the seventh man committee to look into this matter and bring it to a close. No. The partisans themselves have got a right to put a suspension on all decisions made by the party leadership or hierarchy. One, call for a special convention in the city of Grand Basso County, the stronghold of the party. At that convention, 
the 15 county leaderships. In addition to the executive body, will meet and decide the future of the party. And just like 2017, Liberty Party as a party did not endorse any candidate. But Charlie, your father was not happy. Ben, Conway, and Billy went to CDC. Delon and her friends then went to UP. Charlene, let me repeat. You probably is not picking me up. The Liberty Party as an institution did not endorse anybody. Ben, Billy and Kanye, who are now referred to in Liberian politics as the three amigos. They call them the three amigos, meaning the three friends. Ben, Billy and Kanye went to the CDC. Taylor and the others went to the UP. In 2021, Ben, Pelete, and Kanye went to Nimba. Telon, Nyombli, and the others went to Bwaka. Why won't you judge by your father's position? Your father took a decision, Charlene. He said, let them go. Let the other people go. But Liberty Party will not endorse anybody. Charlene, if what I'm saying is a lie, then challenge me. The same three people that went to Nima were the same three people that did so when your father was alive. They went to Congo Town to our party headquarters. Have you forgotten? No. So history is repeating itself the same way it happened in 2017. Therefore, I predict today that the same way it happened in 2017 when Bromsky was alive. The fact that it happened again today, the same decision that Bromsky took will be taken. Perete, Ben, and Kanye went to CDC in 2017. In 2021, they decided to go to Kumis. It's the same thing, same scenario, same activities. It's just that this time, they, they're choosing to dress a different devil. In 2017, Perete, Kanye, and Ben, they dressed Jawia as their devil. In 2021, they have decided to dress Kumis as the devil. In 2017, Delon, all the young all of them, they decided to dress who? Bwaka. For them, nothing has changed. In 2021, they have decided to dress Bwaka again. In 2017, the late councilor Charles Walker Bromskin said, let them go. God dare. But Liberty Party will not endorse anybody. So, if your father can take that decision with the same thing that happened, your father will not roll over in your grave because you're young and beautiful. When I come to Liberia, Charlene, I'll take you on a date. I'm single. I'm ready to mingle. So nobody should envy me for taking these astute political leaders on dates. You ain't got nothing on me. I'm not crippled, I'm not handsome, I'm not ugly. I'm not anything, nothing bad on me. So all y'all who will just see people and say, they taste the daddy. Only thing you will say about me is I'm handsome. But again, if your father, the same thing happened. 
Nothing different I'm saying here. Nothing. He said, let them go. But Labour Party will not endorse anyone. Look at Tiola Gibson, Cheche Pule. She's engaged. She engaged. You now see, you now see engagement certificate to the court. Tiola, I tell you not to be coming here and spoiling my team, eh? Go to your Ben Sandy, Ben Sandy, where are you? <laughs> the only thing that made Ben Sandy say, look at it. Soon as I say I will take Charlene on a date, he jumped from his heart up. Look at it. Look at it. Ben, what did look at it for? Because I said I will take Charlene on a date. If you knew Charlene was important, you should stay on Charlene's side. <laughs> but anyways, back to the topic. Back to the topic. And she now come to my rescue, say she only engaged, she not married. <laughs> Thank you, Gina. I love you. Okay, so so Promsky saw the same scenario. So what I'm saying is, what's the difference between what happened in 2017 and what's happening now? There's no difference. The Liberty Party was split. People went to Jawia, people went to Paka. The old man was alive. The old man said, let them go. Go there. But Liberty Party will not endorse anyone. So again, what's the difference? Ben, Kanwe, Pelete went to Jawia in 2017. This year, they decided that not Jawia, they will go to Kumis. What's the difference? And I see three people. And I see three people endorsing a candidate. There's no difference. The only thing that changed, the name. From George Manny, we are my political leader to Alexander B. Cummings, Tiola Gibson, political leader. But it's the same thing. Delon, Nyombli, and their group, they went to Baga in 2017. They said they played, no, they will stay there. What's the difference? But the old man said they can go, call there. I'm not going. And Liberty Party will remain a party of integrity, a party of law and order. We will not endorse anyone. That's not what I fought for. Hey! Then Charlie said, committee, there's another tree have left you behind. Now, everything I said here today, is it true or lie? Out of the presentation, you get to answer the question. You decide. I present, you decide. Everything I say here today, is it true or lie? You decide. Tiola, merci, but you can't, you can't say Charlene engaged. That particular thing, I will start my friendship with you, sir. I will still take Charlene on a date. Because if the man see where you're married, you're wasting time. I, I single, and I'm strong. I tell Charlie on dead one time we're going to Episcopal Church. <laughs> Somebody come and ask me why Episcopal Church? <laughs> because they were not waste time. They see they would tell us. <laughs> ourselves to the next topic the next <laughs> y'all leave my brother Ben me and Ben we closer than before the person who me and I'm pulling a few like Kev Kev that nonsense speaking I let Ben more than Kev now say this time Kev can carry blood pressure up and if I lie then I say Allah Kev can carry people blood pressure up I'm not even sure if Kevin in that case I'm going like bro from the way you can toss something. <laughs> I I took my some people really not listen to Kev and they faint. <laughs> Seriously. And I'm a <laughs> Okay, so 
Kulam, Kula, you, Kula, you like problem. I want to take, um, I want to take Nyombli on a date. But Nyombli King and went where Pennsylvania and she, she called me to tell me where she at. Then I heard Taylor force a cell. I don't know where he is now. But they said they saw him in my roof today. He announced that he was coming. I don't, I don't want to disturb anybody, okay? I don't want to. So we proceed to JMB today. Folks, let me say this to you. Liberia is a unique country. And today, I witness a party showcasing what I would term, in my opinion, as the most beautiful party headquarters. Whether it was rental, a pay for, or somebody gave it to them, that's not my business. I didn't say it for them. I said the most beautiful party headquarters. They display it today. But then when I looked at the people that were there, mostly were Costa supporters with a banner. Then they don't care who not group there. And then I started asking about why Liberty Party people. Then when I listened, I heard my friend, what you mean, talking about Lofa County former superintendent and Lofa County former city mayor. All that kind of stuff. And Lofa County being the only part county that stood with them. And I'm listening. And everybody knows that if you want to airport anything, you go to Bella Casa. If you want to plan to airport anything, you go to Bella Casa. If you want to airport an engagement, go to Bella Casa. You want to airport a marriage? Somebody will say, you can airport marriage. Airport me to stop it. <laughs> you go to Bella Casa. But the moment I heard that Liberty Party were meeting at Bella Casa, I did not need to be told that they were about to abort CPP that they conceived. So I asked myself today, <laughs> Baron Brown, <laughs> Baron Brown said, Fagor is a mess. <laughs> uh, I asked myself, what's the rationale, the essence of going to Bella Casa. Before I realized, everybody came out. Oh, it's done. There's an abortion. CPP is done. So, what came to my mind was, perhaps, Joseph Walker would have been strong today. Then I realized that I said something that made Joseph Walker a threat. That I posted, and if you can recall, I said, Kumis, don't say when wait for them to move, then you move. And Kumis has said, acted like these people never had no program today. He acted like he didn't even hear him. So apparently, what I said, the old man said, if I'm gonna say something. We have agreed that we'll get out of the CPP. But to announce it today will be detrimental. So they took cue from my post. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but the Baron Brown boy is a complete mess. He said the other pillar will not escape Mo Ali. <laughs> Mo Ali will show a part they won't. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. I got it. I got it. So, Joe Baga realized that it will be, it will not be expedient to announce today that we're pulling out of the CPP until we talk to legal minds. Until we talk to legal minds. We have taken the decision. But to go ahead and announce it today is not in our best interest. And I think that was a smart move. 
it would have been counterproductive. If you really follow Liberian politics, you will notice that Kumi's fire that he was flying with, he flight. It trapped a little. You can barely hear Kumi's knee again too much. So Kumi's were waiting for Lena to throw her out of fire. Because he has been to, excuse me, Banga, Mimba, Maryland, all the other era. He was right now to go to some era then, way in the bush again. Because his name would have been ringing. His name would have been ringing. So he, I told him, I said, be quiet. So the papa to look at him, he said, no, no, no. We got to talk to legal minds. Why do you think people decided that they will not announce today the decision that they took last night to withdraw from the CPP? It's not a secret anymore. Why didn't they announce it today? Because if you're smart, you will see that the letter written to the political leader of Liberty Party said that the document that is filed with NEC is the 2021 Constitution derived from the Convention. So, you don't just go four parties together to everything, register with NEC, then you just jump up and go to someone like Peter Harry uh, Annex up the hill. <laughs> I want to say I'm a mess. You don't just get up, go to Peter Harry Annex, and say, oh, we move from there. That document is with neck. You can't just get up and say, Amu. Ah? Is that how you do it? No, you can't. You got to talk to some legal minds. Because if you say, and I'm telling you again, Predicting what will happen. If you say, oh, Amun, Kumis will sue you for the injury caused to him. His character, his time wasting, the party, everything, the damage, it will be too nasty. Then Kumis aircraft will pick up again. Then Kumis will say, as far as he's concerned, the document on that is why you're going by. So I got to go through everything and exhaust. Kumi's jet will not even be in the cumulus cloud again. It will be in, the, in space. And so the United Party people, they went to Bella Casa, took the decision to abort. I keep using the word abort for a reason. I could say to withdraw to pull out by using the word a bot because a bot is associated with Bella Casa. See, we politicians, we're very careful and we very rhetorical. So they went there and they took the decision last night, but they refused to announce the decision because it was counterproductive to their political future. And so the, the, that one, I will give them credit. They decided not to announce it, but rather consult with what Tiola Gibson. You say I'm not educate them, but since I've been here, Kumis he is semi final here to say I'm paying for the legal advice. So same Kumis cheap, he can't pay me. I will be getting Paga advice because Paga pa, he already told me he didn't get nothing. He will borrow money from the pen. I don't even know what he'll be doing in, in Sierra Leone, in Parkland, Spain. But I want to for a different day. I will credit Parker because I know Parker will pay. <laughs> so you see. <laughs> yeah, man. Let me. Because Parker, uh, Kumi is paying me. So I will credit Parker. Anything come on. So he did not say Rosalind Cooper said they will start paying off. Yeah, you'll start paying off. I need to even put ANC cash up and I pull 
uh, uh, um, UP Cash App. Who pay more? I get a person political advice. You pay less, I give you less political advice. That's how we're doing now. Look at the lot man, Numa Paga son is a Akumi supporter. Oh, Akumi supporter, and he said he chose a Numa son. Anyway, to let Numa get a children, but you want to step children. You got. Uh, <laughs> anyway, okay. Okay, Rosalyn, you say you'll pay me, no problem. So let's continue. Say you say you'll pay me, I sing with Paga Paga said he will pay me. And, and so, you can't just go and say, oh, we withdraw. You will be following the same mistake Nyombli did. We hear about nullify the constitution next. Uh -uh. That paper file with us. And you cannot just come here and take it. That the same thing Omer Baga Luka said, damn it. If I say it today, Nek will not even talk, sir. And maybe Kumis will not even talk. They will wait when I want to say, hey, there's no such thing here as unity party. The document we have here at NEC says collaborating political parties with an IES, of which the unity party is a part. So stop your nonsense. You're not going anywhere. Common sense. So they say, ah, we have agreed to get out. But we've got to talk to our lawyer then to see how do we go about getting out. How do we go about getting out, out of this mess? Now, for Kumis, Kumis knew that they've been gone ever since. But Kumis knows fully well that in a bid to injure his character, reduce him to nothing, and ultimately excommunicate him from the church, they saw his campaign to another level when he survived. And after now, Kumi's cheap, he ain't pay me fast and he. I'm not giving him no more advice again. So now, Kumi's not getting all the sense. Kumi's, somebody went to you, like, Kumi said, I will not say, Fui. I'm waiting for them. When they move, I will move. If they don't move, I will not move. As far as I'm concerned, we're in the CPP. ARP with them, LP with me. The only two people I got to contend with are Nyombli and Delon. And I know that Delon let money in Lera let cheese. Anywhere Delon see money that I play can go. If I'm just paraphrasing in a comical level what Kumis will be saying to a friend. Doesn't necessarily mean, doesn't necessarily mean he said it. I'm just being comical. I know they don't let money let cheese. If you say a lot, go out of our self. I will call Bidel. I will call Dennis. We meet Telon in the States. So I don't get a problem with Telon. As for Nyomli, she like for people to say, it's okay, man. Check if her hug, hold her tight. She'll be okay. She loves a little bit of attention. TLC. She loves tender loving care. And she wants to be in the spotlight. I put her in the spotlight. Because the greatest fear mathematically is that we, know, we now know that the CPP will not hold. But if the CPP was to hold that Liberty Party delegates will be split. And ALP, the ALP, the All Liberian Party of Benin Ayure, is not, I repeat, a real political party. It is a family business of bargaining. It is a family business of bargaining. Benin Ayure, uh, I forgot his wife's name, Tidi Ayure, Benin Ayure, Tria Yue, Penada Yue, Tanera Yue, Henry Costa, Baron Baron, the workers down on the farm, so the workers down the Loon Star, what do you get? The Yue family in Kerisburg. Which Yue you know as a delegate will betray Penina Yue 
and follow Kumis. No. Ora Ure, Ernest Nadine Ure, Clemenso Ure, John Ure, they will all be delegates. So Joseph Waka is a short of his 620 votes. And you only need one vote from the Liberty Party for the to flock Kumis. But they know it's not possible. It's not possible. So again, it doesn't play to the ANC side. And as a matter of fact, not fiction, the UP will lose anything. The ANC will lose everything. The best thing to do is what they are attempting to do. But how they will proceed about it will determine who comes out as the knight in shining armor. Hear me and hear me well. Because if you understood what happened during the alteration and the fingering issue, who won that battle? It was Kumis. Who got the political profit? It was Kumis. And if you proceed about it the wrong way right now, Kumis' remaining counters will be covered and Kumis will soar in the polls again. Now, I cannot find a better way to tell you guys something about the Liberty Party. So I will try to be polite, but I can't find a better way. You see the Liberty Party, when I was in high school and very young, any girl who had too many poor friends, there was a player that used to play for Newcastle, they called Alan Shera. That was his name. That's his name. That was it's his name. He's still alive. They call him Alan Shera. So if we saw that this girl had too many boyfriends, they would call her Alan Shera. The United Party in our political system. Because of its makeup, most times, in all times, and every time, they become Alan Shera. If you remember 2017 elections, Liberty Party were loving to uh, uh, Ellen Johnson selling United Party. They faced the headquarters. They bought her all the brand new pickups. I'm talking to somebody who understands Liberian politics and wants to learn from me. Who remember that? United Party did everything. I myself were a give up. Liberty Party was loving to United Party. We used to call them what? If you remember, regime collaborator. We used to call them regime collaborators. After they left United Party because they knew that there were heavy weights in the CDC such as Van Gogh. I said we were dressing. Our Kolo and Tinem were looking sharp. We were the big eyes. I'm trying to give you a picture. Liberty Party got dressed in her neck and in the neck and jumped behind us. Not Liberty Party as a whole now. I'm giving you a scenario. They jumped behind her until Liberty Party husband, the late Charles Bromsky said, let them go, go there. So, we the sedition and we start learning the Liberty Party. We were with Liberty Party, we had a great time. The relationship was good. Boom. All the funny things start happening. Wow, they were the party. Before the December 8th, the December 8th, they were the party. Took that one on that guy and came from your house. 
the John B. and Joseph Waga. Especially at the time, while the battle party husband, the late learned counselor, our strong political mentor at some point, met his demise. The John B. and Joseph Waga, finished with the CDC. All of them were behind Joseph Waga. But the papa is me, the papa don't like to spend. So, blood poor kumis that they never saw before, the two brothers came from the States, Dennis and Bidel. They brought clothes for kumis, charity, kumis got dressed. Liberty Party behind kumis. Alan Shera. When you do these kinds of things, you put yourself in a position where now we are struggling to solidify the party as a unity. Because one day, the party party in Joseph Baga House. The next day, the United party in Kumi's house. The day after tomorrow, if, if man we are put a foot down strong, the party party could be living in our house. I'm just giving you a true scenario. You are a political party and you are supposed to fight for state power. But your own party is just there. Who are they you are looking for a boyfriend? You able to fight for yourself? You got to be with somebody? That is an issue. But as it stands right now, when we tell people that the political landscape of Liberia right now is charged, anything can happen. Anything can happen within the political landscape. And take my word for it. The transfer window will open next year, June. I didn't say January, February. March, April, no. If you watch football game, Real Madrid, Barca, Arsenal, Liverpool, you will know what I'm talking about. By June of next year, the transfer window will open. And you will know which player will be on which team. And that is why I have told my people, Molba Molu will tell anybody, me and he can talk. Two, three days we talk. Two, three days. I told him. I said, if you're not looking for money to buy a player, don't go sit down and say the team good. Or you are like our political leader say the team is a young team. We don't have fire. Because in 2023, that free time ball want to moon. Want to moon. 2023. Somebody not listening to me. 2023 that want to move. Whoever wins the election in 2023, the other person should not go sit down and say, oh, we'll be back in 2029. That lie. They clear you, you come for good. Because the political landscape of Liberia is about to change. From party politics to populist politics. In the context of people who deal with the popular, the people. Okay? So, 2020, that free time ball. You put your best player on the field. You do your best to get your team. All your PV player. And one time, I joke with him. I said, man, I mean, 2023, I treat if you think I will sit on the bench, you on your own. I will sign with Jiba Moon. I will go West Point and sign. I don't say now on bench, you. I play. Any team I can play for, I will play. Nobody said to me on bench in 2023. He can be laughing. I said, so right now, we need to buy players. I will not tell you the code I'm using for players. But we need to buy players. He said, Fagona, hey, we're trying. I said, that's it. Right now, we need defenders. We got struggle now. You got Chawia. You got Maggie. 
So we are playing now. My game playing 10. 12 playing 8. I can draw CDC team for you. So we are playing now. My game playing 10. And, 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 and what are you calling? Some 12 playing 8. Then from the number 7 and the number 11, I kill that 2 again. You all say this and that. They got good midfield on the seminar and they went and brought Bobo Isa. <laughs> they had good midfield. <laughs> Look at Slot, that's why I say, Maricana. They had good midfield on the seminar, Asana. No, if I didn't get good defense, they put their playing by her in a defense all day. <laughs> okay? Those who play football, you know what we're talking about. Okay? So again, oh, Yancey are always a Mayfield. Are always in the Mayfield. Are always Tenny in the Mayfield. I told him, I said, right now, CDC need defense, oh. We get struck out and we, they struck out and we get a plenty. We even know what to do with it. But we don't have a defense. Number two, number three, number four, number five, they lost. Then you brought Mayfield in, that Bobo. He not bad, he not wicked, he, 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 but a bobo. He even know how to tell the player, say, player, say, safety fire, safety fire. He's just standing there. He gave me time, man, hoya, man, hoya, man, my God, man, no. He got there. So for number six, that will finish. <laughs> he might hear Jackson say, I'm driving late, but I love you, brother. Thank you. Okay, so again, we, we have a very robust, energetic, fantastic forward. But our defense leaking, we got the bad players. If you want to start, keep using the word defense. I say attack, defense, a leaking. When the poor brother, they make it, they throw the ball from over in the center, straight in our 18. Wow, nobody to bot. Look at the other man sat down on television. He said he had to run away from New York because two, the, the people sent two trucks full of armed men to chase him around. He got foreign minister who can come to America to even challenge that kind of statement. 35,000 people in Liberia right now, no space. You got a foreign minister who cannot come to America with clips and evidence of aircraft's landing with thousands of Liberians to prove that the country is not only safe, but the country is ready. Because his sapper, John J. Jacob, was trying to step the ball out of the defense. He iron star moon the foreign minister sapper. The main yellow sapper. Oh God, summary, I say your replacement setting us a trap. <laughs> so again, all the noise that happened in the CPP and other areas, 2023, like Sly said, Americana, I want to move. Want to move. They came to you. It's over. And by June, the transfer window will be open. Those who got money will be buying players. They'll be buying, they'll be buying the Messi's, the Ronaldo, the, the who again? The Mo Salah, Sanio Mani, man. they up for grabs. So right now, the CDC need to start quoting and talking to some of these players and their managers. Because right now, where is the team? There's no team. All the people are right? Kaseki uh, way. Who? By the time he stood up, he looked around and said, Oh, what am I trying to say? What am I sass? What am I sneak up? He shared all our comfort with him. Tell my game, I'm back. He shared all our comfort with him. That's why you need a political advisor. He came with too much speed. To the point where Wilma Pei had to jump out of his party and say, Tell me, 
What can I make come here with a kind of speed? And then somebody say, a new LFMB will go call your own. They cut it under, until they reach the boom. He cut it, sir. You don't see political leader fire. <laughs> Imagine, and this, this, when I tell my thing, I laugh, but it can be factual. Imagine what the tape that play. Okay? When Bolba Malu is alleged to have said certain things, they brought tape, they play it. You see, so we are fire Bolba Malu because, President, we are understand the political administration. And that is why you have a master's degree in political administration in universities. They may fire a party chairman. That's how angry the man was. Merry Christmas, Yvonne and you. Okay? He fired a guy. Then one of my men I knew, we went to ARP meeting one or two times. They call him, uh, he's the Secretary General. They call him Daniel Kayu. That was that ARP big man. I go see the man now. The man was with CDC. Before I realized, the man is now the Secretary General of the PRP. I said, tell me. And he started talking how he coming over the new strategy today. I said, Hey, come. Can I finish again? Oh, I said. <laughs> so, if you don't have a political advisor and a strategist, if you understand politics, you need a strategist. You need a political advisor. Someone who understands the political terrain. So, again, when the transfer window opens, if you think, you say, well, you think I'm going to have CDC? Yeah, I'm CDC. But my team tell me, say, oh, I mean, we don't have any money to pay you for this season. Go sit down the bench. And Kumis can say, my man, tennis, be there. You'll please sign Eugene on for half a million dollars. I will be saying now uh, where I won't care Nyombli and 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 and, and Charlene on it. Where I'll take the money from. Half a million dollars. I will say I can't make mean, your CDC the whole cartoon or t-shirt and your ticket. Your career with you. But in short, put Joker sir, by June, the transfer window will open. The heat will be intense. If people are not making preparation now, then sorry. Because by June, between June and November, many Liberians, I have done this for 37 years, many Liberians between June and November will make up their mind. They will make up their mind as to where they're going. And anything you say or do, it will not change again. Somebody say, well, all the, the knowledge you have, Fagon, why did George we have fire you? Because according to the Constitution, the President of Liberia can hire you and fire you. And the reason why he fired me was because he didn't want to hire me. And that part question he asked, oh, but just that they play for smart people. The reason why he fired me that because he didn't want to hire me. The play he couldn't fire me from that the party. Marianne Hill said, we need you on ANC team. But, yeah, yeah. When people want people on team, ask George, yeah, ask Salisa. They can start buying the player boost. Practice Jesse. So now they can get a player car. What did the other get me to say you express your interest? Your ANC people. Eh? You are giving auto ability, ability to say you buy 70 car. He paid for the play 80000 to renovate it. He paid 25000 per year just to bring Kumis to welcome Kumis. You ever not pay for my internet that I'm using right now? So, if you say you want me on your team, you got to start buying boosts. Benjamin Zoe. Okay? Look at the console demand. He said, the man said, he said, Maggie said he's waiting for the knockout stage. He will bring you in. 
They don't want you injured. They don't want me injured. I got to be physically fit. So where are my training gears? No anger, no push. Like they say, I'm practicing in AZ, Naka State. Hey, Imai Wate, when am I carrying? As soon as you tell me that Dylan, as soon as you tell me she's available, I will carry her for Dylan. Manager said, transfer, we know we'll open. Monkey will jump from tree to tree. That one is normal. And Messi playing for Messi playing for Paris. Niamh playing for Paris in Germany. Ronaldo come out of Manchester. Transfer window will open. Transfer window will open. Somebody say. If ANC buy you, practice mature, will you join it? The tell you that we can join team. Because if I buy my Puma for me, I'm going to go join. You got to sign me on my signing bonus, my contract, my signature fee. All TV can be on the table. You give me my signing bonus. That means for signing. My signature fee. My contract money. Put it in my hand. I tear your jersey and wear it straight. We we'll go stand. The media people come. They see me with my new ANC jersey. You know, I warm my around with the football. Then the press, <laughs> the press say, ANC has signed on its latest Midfield Maestro. Tell me what you mean by want to move. You, you not play football for you asking me. Want to move, they score on you, you move, then you go send up boy again. I fit them ball, 2020, I fit them ball. Want to move, you get it back, you go. Look at Henry Cohen, he said, we declare you government boom. I can be government boom, oh. the ref will get your red card. Even Joe Parker, that bank in Sierra Leone, where he waiting for a parkless bank. The papa said that pain in your bro can credit him. But every time he goes to Sierra Leone, he can be in, coming all the back this pain. I don't know what can happen there. <laughs> oh, somebody said me and Yomli will make a good political couple. Oh, the only Yomli I in love with, I in love with, with, with Charlie. But, no, I'm a sedition. Let me be clear on that. But when the transfer window open, and the other push show real interest in me. Oh, you see Borrado they play here. Mercy does that. When the transfer window, if you didn't say Joe, we are transfer. <laughs> Imagine if you look at the Liberian political landscape, the transfer window ain't open here. People fighting for which team. They won't be part of. I'm giving you a football analogy because Liberians know the football game. Yeah, P player are P player, we are. Maybe we are, we are. P player are P player. I saw your new headquarters of a foul, and nothing will interest me if you pay all my fees. Then I go there and wear my United Party jersey. Can also for all the journalists then to see the only demand I get on the jersey, they gotta be having number six. I want dance in the mid feet. I want to coordinate the activities between the attackers and the defender. Look at Loma Bose, he left Bazaar women. You, me, I get pig and choose them. I'm suffering from ADT and a damn thing. <laughs> We're having fun by the seat that we're educating people, right? Mohamed Suarez said, no one needs you. You have adjusted, exhausted all your chances. Everything of yours has evaporated, brother. So you're the new announcement chief. The moment I tell you Mohamed Suarez, I will join ACO. The first thing you will say, hey Allah, 
The next now come for your mother, you say, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Wallah, Alhamdulillah, Salam, Alaikum, Alaikum, Salam. Now, I will come for your mother straight. If I join Ako. But because I mentioned Ako name, so right now, you won't discredit me. <laughs> and Ako is not in this palava, okay? Hey, yeah. Poor, poor Hagba statement, all crying. He said, please don't go because ANC that choke up. <laughs> Check out son and say, any dirty water can call a fire. <laughs> they like the game, but they don't know how to play a Lucini Kamara. I said, the ANC people detain me. They said they will sell me for ANC. Mm. I don't know, but again, let me close on this note. We need to understand the political landscape of the country. We need to also understand that race plays a major role in the American elections as tribes play a major role. You have to keep that in mind. You can't tell the Madingo people and the Muslims that Ako down a party. You gotta be high on something. You cannot tell the Gio and Mano people that MDR preach doesn't party than another party. You gotta be on substance. You cannot tell the, 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 the bomb country people that MPP not another party. Something wrong with you. The same way you can't tell cool people say CDC now wow. you can't tell them. Roger, be screaming all around the place. Roger, man. You can't tell them CDC now a party. At a party. You cannot tell pass of people that liberty party now for them. That's why this woman stoop, stopped in the middle of her stuff and directly address the pastor people. Then she turned around, she made sure she had a pastor interpreter. That's how far this woman went today. To interpret in pastor what she said. That joke That's not a joke. So it tells you. So for me, at this stage, Pelete has the party name and the constitution playing with it. Nyobli, Charlene, I didn't call Deloni. Nyobli and Charlene got the partisans. What I read today, Plate needs to engage Charlene. Now, normally, oh, engage Charlene right away. Because of everything I heard today, it's like Charlene is on the side of her father. In short, you are not taking our party to Nima. So you need to call her. Call her, talk to her, see what you can do. And maybe you are not here, Blabby, but I explain why she had a portion of her speech in Paso and also read in Paso. The reason is simple. She even started a speech with Paso by saying it was the Paso people and their son. So right there, when I told you I was taking off a joke, I won't finish. So... All um, Peter has to do, engage Charlene, see what they can do. I told you yesterday, every party get a party man and a party part. They may not necessarily be part of the party establishment, but they are highly respected. Those people, you got to reach out to them. Okay? Or else, you only holding LP and the folder with the constitution inside. 
you get nobody behind you going. And I asked, I said, who's tend to be the loser yesterday in all of this? Everybody says Kumis. The reason why everybody said Kumis? Because Pirite is not running. So Kumis tends to be the loser. All right, so I will entertain a few questions. Choke on Flama. Now, now Lee Gomez is to be my best friend. No problem. I will take you. Well, uh, Blackie. Unfortunately, we shouldn't be talking about tribal politics, which is divisive. But what do you do? In America today, in the 21st century, are they not talking about race? They talk about race. You know why these things continue to exist? Because every time a generation tries to forget about it, it's brought forth. Nobody wants to utter it, but people display it. And people see it and they are reminded. Mark Kadima, you say you want to talk to me? Message me. And we'll find time. Henry Congress ability is a general without troops. I couldn't agree with you more. He got Conway, Penn, other people. But what are foot soldiers? Joseph Nima Baga said, why Kumis only want to be president? The same reason why Joe Baga only wants to be president. That's the same reason Kumis want to be president. So, may God bless all of you. Tomorrow we'll come back. Maybe there was something I didn't touch on. Um, let me make sure. Just a reminder. People were not here today. So if they were not here, let's do it again. Okay. Just one second. Just one second, okay? Of many of you as a woman, part of the men, I move both point. Come, part of you, very evil. Yeah, they can't be any passers, so let's see. Sorry, let's see what he read. Not allow competing interests to blind you. Demand a united and reconciled party. To the people of Grand Bassa County, the land of my father, yes. the people who still grieve and mourn the passing of their greatest leader, yes. I promise you that we will not let you down. Yes. I remain true to the principles and the legacy of Councillor Bromskin. Yes. This party will not die. Yes. We will hold up the party. We will keep the party alive. Councilor Brumskin's dream will come to pass. Honorable Brown, I'm going to ask you to just read this in Basel for the people who are listening. Yeah, yeah. The people of Grand Basel County. Um, the Basel says here, Basel, Abba, Brumskin, they are the people who are listening. The people who are listening, 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 I ask everyone to think and reflect on their actions. Liberty. 
So, I leave you today with the understanding that we need to continue to understand what's going on in the Liberian political landscape. Okay? <laughs>